From a Dream of Angus Og by George William Russell As he spoke, he paused before a great mound, grown over with trees, and around it silver clear in the moonlight were immense stones piled, the remains of an original circle, and there was a dark, low, narrow entrance leading within. He took Con by the hand, and in an instant they were standing in a lofty cross-shaped cave built roughly of huge stones. This was my palace. In days past, many a one plucked here the purple flower of magic and the fruit of the tree of life. It is very dark, said the child disconsolately. He had expected something different. Nay, but look, you will see it is the palace of a god. And even as he spoke, a light began to glow and to pervade the cave and to obliterate the stone walls and the antique hieroglyphs engraved thereon and to melt the earthen floor into itself like a fiery sun suddenly uprisen within the world. And there was everywhere a wandering ecstasy of sound. Light and sound were one. Light had a voice and the music hung glittering in the air. I am Angus, Con heard. Men call me the young. I am the sunlight in the heart, the moonlight in the mind. I am the light at the end of every dream, the voice forever calling to come away. I am the desire beyond you or tears. Come with me, come with me, I will make you immortal. For my palace opens into the gardens of the sun, and there are the fire fountains which quench the heart's desire in rapture. And in the child's dream he was in a palace high as the stars, with dazzling pillars jewelled like the dawn, and all fashioned out of living and trembling opal. And upon their thrones sat the Danon gods with their scepters and diadems of rainbow light, and upon their faces infinite wisdom and imperishable youth.